This right here is my computer monitor, the LG 45GX950A, or in simple words, the LG 5K 2K monitor. This is a 45 inch ultra wide monitor that's absolutely one of the most expensive monitors you can buy. But here's the thing, it's hands down the most immersive, visually stunning display I have ever used. And on top of that, it works right out of the box without any issues. In this video, I'll be covering why I chose this ultra wide monitor and what it does well, where it falls short, and if it's worth the $2,000 investment. Now let's kick things off with the obvious. This display is massive. Now while it's technically a 45 inch monitor, don't let that number fool you. It feels even bigger in person with a 5120 by 2160p resolution stretched across 45 inches with an aggressive 800R curve. It wraps around your field of view in a way that a 49 inch monitor can't even compete with, in my opinion. It's like sitting in your workspace and during gaming, the immersion is just next level. Now this is an OLED monitor. That means true blacks, insane contrast, and instant pixel response times. No ghosting, no blur, just smooth, sharp, jaw-dropping visuals. Whether you're gaming, editing, or working across dozens of windows, this monitor can do it all. What I really appreciate is the clean and simple design. You get slim bezels, a sturdy metal stand, and a subtle curve that pulls you in without screaming for much attention. It's a big display, no doubt that, but it still feels modern and sleek and does not feel bulky or oversized at all. Ports wise, here's what you get. You get one display port 2.1, two HDMI 2.1s, one USB-C that can be used for display and it delivers 90 watts of charging power. You also get two USB-A downstream ports. So yeah, it checks all the boxes like its competitors, but don't expect like this to replace any KVM switches or anything too flashy. The layout is clean and easy to reach and the stand offers height and tilt and swivel adjustments. You can tilt and swivel this monitor many different ways. Before we get into pricing, just a quick note. I bought this monitor with my own money. This is not sponsored and no one's paying me to say anything. Everything that you're hearing and seeing is based on my experience only. As for pricing, this monitor at the time of this video is retailing for $2,000, but I paid nowhere close to that. You see, I stumbled upon a Reddit post which showed me how to buy this monitor for a huge discount. So after all said and done, I paid around $1,300 with this monitor. Well, realistically, I paid $1,600 from my pocket. Then I roughly got $400 in Capital One credits. But overall, I can say I got a killer deal. I did not have to pay full retail on this monitor. Do wait for a sale. Like on Memorial Day, this dropped around $1,600. So just wait for that sale and you should be able to get a huge discount pretty soon. So maybe wait for a 4th of July sale, maybe it'll go on a discount. Now let's talk about my setup. I am actually running this monitor across three different systems and it handles all of them effortlessly. First up is my gaming PC where I do bulk of my gaming and performance testing. Next, I have got this connected to my M4 Mac Mini which I use it for more productivity and creative work. And finally, I have it wired to my CalDigit docking station, which connects to my MacBook Pro and even my work laptop. So realistically, I'm able to use four devices with one monitor. Setting up this monitor was quite easy. Now, if you saw my Samsung Odyssey G9 video, you will remember that the headache I went through to get that thing set up and work with all of my devices. I had to swap multiple cables, I had signal issues, the screen would just blank out. So with this monitor, there's none of that. It's just plug and play and everything works. There's no nonsense at all. 
And for a monitor this advanced, that's seriously a refreshing change. Now, before we get into the gaming experience, let's address the elephant in the room. You're gonna need a very powerful PC to take full advantage of this monitor. Now, I'm running an RTX 3080, and even with that, I'm right on the edge of modern games at high setting. At 5120 by 2160, you're pushing more pixels than a standard 4K. So don't expect older or mid-tier cars to keep up, especially if you're aiming for high refresh rates. If you're planning to run this thing maxed out, something like an NVIDIA RTX 5080 or 5090 might be able to make that happen. I'm pretty sure 5090 will make that happen. Not too sure about 5080. Gaming on this monitor is wild. At least that's the best word for it. Between the 5K 2K resolution and the 1800R curve and the OLED panel, this wraps around your vision in a way that feels like super immersion. You feel like, you know, you're right then and there because everything is wrapping around your eyes. It's easily the most immersive gaming experience I've ever had especially in a story driven or cinematic titles like The Last of Us 2 Remastered or Red Dead Redemption 2 or even playing Hitman. It just totally feels different. The 165 hz refresh rate keeps things smooth and thanks to the OLED near instant response, now we're talking 0.03 milliseconds, motion clarity is phenomenal. No ghosting, no smear, just crisp action in fast paced shooters and simulations, more like racing simulations. If you're into competitive gaming, the 330Hz mode on this monitor might be a game changer. When switching to this mode, it drops the resolution down to 1080p, but in return you're getting blazing fast refresh rates and incredibly sharp motion clarity. Perfect for titles like Counter-Strike 2, Overwatch, or you know, many of the action-packed games. Between 165Hz and 330Hz, it's seamless to switch with the press of a button. Playing racing sims like F1 or Assetto Corsa on this monitor is insanely immersive. It honestly feels like you're right in the cockpit. The ultra-wide curve just pulls you in, the action keeps you locked in. Also keep in mind, while the most modern games do support ultra-wide resolutions, not all of them do that. So keep that in mind. Some games simply stretch the image to fit the wider aspect ratio instead of actually displaying the full resolution. So before you invest in a monitor like this, it's definitely worth checking to make sure that your favorite games do support the full ultra-wide monitor experience. Now the LG 5K 2K does come with built-in speakers, but in my experience, they're pretty much underwhelming. The speakers are fine for the basics like system sounds, maybe watching a YouTube video, and maybe some background audio while you're working. But when it comes to anything more immersive like gaming or listening to music or even watching movies, they just don't cut it. I especially noticed this while playing games like Hitman and The Last of Us. During the story scenes, the audio was so quiet and flat, I could barely follow what was going on. The lack of depth and volume really took away from the overall gaming experience. So after a couple of weeks of getting the monitor, I ended up picking up a pair of dedicated desktop speakers to go along with my monitor. And honestly, that has really made a huge difference in the quality. Not only I have stunning visuals, but I also have crisp and good sound that pairs well. This monitor really shines when it comes to productivity. The 5K 2K resolution gives you an incredible amount of screen real estate. More than enough to easily run multiple windows side by side without even feeling cramped or cluttered. It's basically like having two 27 inch monitors fused into one seamless flat panel minus the bezels and without the hassle of dual monitor setup. Whether I'm writing, coding, editing video or working through spreadsheets, this monitor handles everything with ease. As I mentioned earlier, I've got this monitor hooked up to my 
PC, Mac, and my Mac mini. And switching between them is super smooth. In fact, I can even do split screen between my Mac and my PC at the same time. But in my use case, I honestly don't see that, you know, being any beneficial. So I just use one device at a time. The apps scale beautifully across platforms and the extra vertical resolution compared to the Samsung 49 inch ultra wide monitors is definitely better on this LG monitor. In fact, it feels less like a stretched 1440p and more like a true 4K experience. It's just wider and the extra height goes a long way and it reduced my ability to scroll a lot in the documents. Now I can see more of the document or more of my code or even more of my video timeline all in one screen. The bottom line is that if your workflow spans across multiple apps or platforms, this monitor can make multitasking feel effortless and natural. And on top of that, you get to game. Since I've been using this monitor for over 30 days now, I did notice that the colors are mostly accurate when I compare it to my MacBook Pro. The text clarity is also solid. Maybe not as quite sharp as smaller 4K panels, but definitely good enough for the day for everyday use, even for longer work sessions. Also during the day, I keep my windows open and the sunshine directly hits the room and I can barely notice any glare on this monitor. And that's all thanks to the matte coating that this monitor has. It does do a great job of diffusing reflections and making it easy to work or game without distractions. Now, before we wrap up, let me quickly touch on some few issues of this monitor. As I mentioned earlier, the built-in speakers are not that great. They're fine, but for basic use, they're okay. But definitely, if you wanna take your audio to the next level, make sure you get a dedicated sound system to go along with your monitor. You're also going to need a powerful PC and a GPU to take full advantage of the 5K 2K resolution and that high refresh rate, especially with demanding titles. And while the matte coating does a great job of reducing glare, it does come at a cost of vibrancy and sharpness compared to the other glossy OLED panels. Now, nothing here is a deal breaker, but it's good to know this before making that investment. I'm certainly satisfied with my investment. After a month of daily use, the LG 5K 2K has proven to be the best all round monitor that I have ever owned so far. It's not flashy or over engineered, it just delivers stunning visuals and smooth performance. And it's reliable and it does everything pretty good. Gaming feels incredibly immersive while productivity workflows benefit from the large scaled resolution and the ultra wideness. When it comes to switching between systems, it's just one click and you're there. It's completely plug and play, no hassle during setups and no headaches. And switching between the three systems that I have, it's very easy with a click of a button. Yes, it is expensive. I highly recommend buying this monitor when it goes on sale, when it's roughly, you know, $1,600 or below. That's the sweet spot, I think, for this monitor. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated for more videos. I'll be resuming back with my home lab setup in the next couple of videos. So I'll see you soon in my next one.